Hello. I hope you are fine. Welcome to this presentation from this channel, the Geograph Conception Channel. In this presentation, we are going to discuss about the factors affecting wind speed and direction. As we may find, sometimes we experience stronger wind. That is a windy with high speed, but sometimes we experience the windy with lower speed. But also, sometimes we may find the windy moving from a certain direction, but sometimes it moves to another direction. So why this happen? Why the wind does not move to the same direction at all times? Or why the wind does not move at high or lower speed at all time? That is what we are going to discuss in this presentation. Now, to start with the meaning of wind, I think most of us had the term wind. What does it mean? <clears throat> when you say wind, it simply meaning the air in motion or moving air. The atmosphere consists air when the air are in motion or are moving it is considered as wind sometimes called air current that means the air that are in motion or that are moving the wind is normally moved from a region of high pressure toward a region of lower pressure. On the surface of the AC, the pressure is not uniform. That means there are places which have high pressure while there are places which have lower pressure. Now, the wind move from the region of high pressure towards the region of lower pressure. And that is the logic behind why wind move from here to there. Because the pressure is different. As we can see here, the letter H represent high pressure, but the letter L represent lower pressure. Now the wind move from high pressure to lower pressure on the surface of the S. The wind, the air move from the region of high pressure to the region of lower pressure. As you can see here, uh, the letter H represents high pressure, where the air move away from such area and move toward the area with lower pressure. This is the area with lower pressure, where we can see the air moving toward such area. That is the logic behind the movement of air. Now, I think we have heard about the element of weather and element of climate. Now, the wind is among of the elements of weather. 
and it is also among of the element of climate element of weather also the element of climate in that case the wind is divided into local and global wind the global wind is now affected by the climate condition of the area meaning that the global wind are the element of climate but the local wind are affected by weather condition of a particular area now the local wind are the element of weather condition of a particular area now after discussing the meaning of wind let us directly start the factor affecting wind speed and direction we will understand why the wind move with different speed at different time or with different direction at different time there are so many factors that affect the wind direction and wind speed but there are four major factors that affect wind speed and direction the first is horizontal pressure gradient another is the rotation of the s also friction force in that case we are discussing the friction between the air and the surface of the S. I mean the features on the surface of the S. Also centrifugal force. We will start start one after another in detail. Now let us start with the first factor which is horizontal pressure gradient. The horizontal pressure gradient happen due to the variation of pressure between different places. As we said earlier, the surface of the S has not uniform pressure all over the surfaces. Meaning that there are places with higher pressure and there are places with lower pressure. And the air move from a region of high pressure to a region of lower pressure now this affects the direction of the wind what i mean i mean the wind the wind direction is toward the region with lower pressure also this factor affects the wind speed the air around the region with high pressure move fast as compared to the air which is far from the region with high pressure and this is the most important factor or the most influential factor of the wind speed and direction the logic behind is that the wind normally move from a region of high pressure toward a region of lower pressure. As we can see, this is a pressure gradient. Whereas this is a high pressure, this is a lower pressure, where the wind move toward the region of lower pressure creating a pressure gradient that affect both wind speed and the direction as you can see here the wind move toward the area with lower pressure also the global wind system is affected by the pressure gradient the global pressure gradient as you can see here 
the letter L represent represent the lower pressure what is the letter H represent the high pressure as you can see the wind move toward the region of lower pressure from the region of high pressure now another factor that affect wind speed and direction is rotation of the S the S rotate on its axis forget about the liberation of the S but we have rotation of the S the rotation of the S does not affect the wind in itself but it produces the force called the Coriolis force the Coriolis force is produced by the rotation of the S or the movement of the S on its axis now what does the Coriolis force influence the wind the Coriolis force deflect the wind. When I say deflect, I mean changing of direction. For example, suppose you are moving toward a certain direction and you meet a certain obstacle, maybe a wall or a mountain or any other obstacle and your intention is to reach a certain destination you will not turn back but rather you will change the direction you will diverge your direction so that to overcome such obstacle the same applied to wind when the wind meets the Coriolis force produced by the S rotation they does not move back but later they change their direction they diverge their direction because the Coriolis, Coriolis force is perpendicular to the windy direction and this factor was verified by the Ferris law by the Ferris law what does the Ferris law state the Ferris law states that a body and in our case we, when we say a body we mean winds a body moving on the surface of the earth is always deflected Deflected by what? By the Coriolis force. To where? To it is all in left in the southern hemisphere and it is all in right in the northern hemisphere. Meaning that the wind moving toward the south are diverged to their left hand. And also the wind that move toward the southern hemisphere are diverged to their right hand. In that case, the wind are deflected southeast in the southern hemisphere and the northeast in the northern hemisphere. As you can see in the illustration, the arrow with white color is the starting direction, the origin direction. The wind started with the direction moving toward the south north, but it has deflected to the light hand, diverged to the light hand due to Coriolis force Coriolis force produced by the S location rotation 
the same applied to the southern hemisphere the wind are also diverging to their left hand due to the influence of Coriolis force as you can see in the illustration we see the original direction of the wind has deflected or diverged due to the influence of Coriolis force now the Coriolis force affects the direction of wind especially the global wind system <coughs> another factor that affects the wind direction or speed is what we call centrifugal force what is the centrifugal force mean the centrifugal force is a force that uh, operate from a curved center a round center that means it pushes the air from such curved center outward that means it has the, the air move from the curved center outward and this centrifugal force affects the wind direction often when the wind is stronger or violent like anticyclone this is a violent wind and the cyclone those ppp don't worry about that it is the typing error and during this movement there will occur a balance between between pressure gradient Coriolis force and the such centrifugal force if there will occur a balance between two this variable the wind will start moving in a spiral way in a spiral pattern in a round pattern and in that case they move clockwise around the high pressure and anti clockwise around the lower pressure in the northern hemisphere in the case of southern hemisphere they move clockwise around the lower pressure and the anti clockwise around the high pressure as you can see here around the high pressure in northern hemisphere the move the wind move in a spiral pattern but in a clockwise way but around the lower pressure they move in the anti clockwise way as we can see here anti clockwise way but in the southern hemisphere they move in a clockwise way in, around the lower pressure in southern hemisphere but anti clockwise way around the high pressure now another factor of the windy direction and speed is what we call friction force and we are normally talking about the friction between the air and the features on the surface of the earth like mountains um, forest and other man-made features like tall buildings towers and so on when the air are blocked by the features on the surface of the earth they always change their direction or sometimes change their speed for example when the wind strike a forest it is speedy it is speedy we decline also when the wind strike a mountain 
it may change its direction. For instance, we can see here uh, the illustration. We can see the prevailing wind has changed their direction or had diverged up due to the influence of mountains and this leads to the formation of orographic precipitation and this mark the end of our presentation i would like to thank you for taking your time to listen to me and i beg you to subscribe in this channel our channel is known as geography conception geography conceptions in this channel we discuss different topics or matters or any other issues related to geography and it is both human and physical geography so please sub subscribe and also you may write your comment and the comment may be on the on the maybe criticism suggestions um maybe which topic or matters you are interested to learn from this channel and any other point of view also don't forget to share this channel links to your friends to your colleagues or to your fellow scholars or fellow students or your fellow teachers and so on otherwise i wish you the nice moment thank you for listening me.